hey guys what is up it is your girl sin and you already know the deal welcome back to my channel it is me cynthia if you are new to my channel make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like this video because i know i'm gonna help a lot of you guys out especially with this trendy aesthetic home screen ios update that just came out well not just came out but like a few months ago so i know many of you guys have already customized your phone your phone your home screens and you guys already know the dips and tricks but i did post on my instagram how my home screen was looking and i did get a lot of good feedback from you guys and you guys said you wanted me to basically show you how i did it so this video is going to be about that but yeah this video is a little bit different from my other videos but i thought it would be fun to film and show you guys you know how i customized my phone so for majority of this video you guys are going to be looking at my home screen my actual home screen right now so i can show you guys step by step how I did it in the beginning was kind of like, what, what's this, what's going on? But once you get the hang of it, it's really, really, really easy and it's really fun if you are someone who's creative. So, uh, like I said before, I'm not even going to do too much chit chat, chit 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 chat with y'all. I'm going to just show you guys what's going on. But before we do that, real quick, pause this video, hunty. Pause this video. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like this video. And if I've helped you in any way, Make sure you give it a thumbs up or even comment down below and let me know what you guys think about my home screen. I think I might change it um, for the holidays, but this is something that I could definitely stick with for a really long time. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, you guys. So this is how my home screen is looking right now. It's giving a very neutral aesthetic with hints of a very light blush I wanted to go for with some gold and all that good stuff. And of course, of course, of course, I had to incorporate my favorite designer brand, Chanel. You guys already know the vibes. Um, so yeah, I showed you guys this on my Insta story and a lot of you guys voted and said that you would still want to be interested in seeing how I got it to look like this. So yeah, I really do like how it came out overall. It didn't take me too long. Once you get the hang of it, it's going to be a breeze. Just make sure you know what aesthetic you want to go for, what color scheme you're going to be interested in. And you want to pick something that you're not going to mind looking at for a long period of time. Something very classic. Um, so that way you don't get bored of it easily. But before we even think about those things, we are going to need to download three... Well, two apps. The first app I would recommend is going to be this app called Pinterest. I absolutely love, 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 love this app. And then the second app would be the Widget Smith app. So let's get into Pinterest. Pinterest, I absolutely love Pinterest for all types of inspiration, hair, nails, makeup, whatever inspiration, whatever you want to see um, more of. You can definitely hit up Pinterest, download that app. It is amazing. I'm on here posting, you know, once in a while, just the things that I like. But this app really did help me get the aesthetic that um, I really wanted. So you can, of course, use Google as well. But I would definitely recommend you guys check out Pinterest and also check out my Pinterest because I do post a lot of good things on there that I don't post anywhere else. But I'm going to show you guys what I did on Pinterest to get my aesthetic. So first things first, what you want to do is hit up the search bar on the bottom and type in the aesthetic that you want to see more of. And it's going to bring you to a page where it's going to show you literally every kind of aesthetic whatever whichever you typed in what it, it could have been pink aesthetic blue aesthetic metallic aesthetic whatever aesthetic i put neutral because that's the aesthetic that i wanted to go for and literally as you guys can see it's showing me everything in like a neutral color scheme which makes it really easy to go ahead and click it save it to your gallery and use it for the cover of the apps later on. So I would say take your time just scrolling through it and saving everything you think you would want to use as a cover for the apps that you're about to basically customize. And Pinterest makes it really easy. You click on the photo, which I'm about to show you guys, whichever one that you want to save. Click the three little dots and then it's going to say download, copy, whatever. You just click download and then the image will go directly to your actual gallery. 
um right here so this is the one that i saved and i like it so i'm gonna keep it and we're gonna figure out which app i'm gonna cover it for later on so before we continue i am gonna talk about how i got my time and date to look like this on my home screen as well you just want to hop back and download like i said before this widget smith app this is the app everyone knows that you need this app if you're trying to get those cute little ad additions to your home screen so once you click the app it's going to take you to this page here there's a couple categories that you can choose from to pick your time and date format and um you want to go through these and see you know what what kind of a vibe you're trying to go for um as far as looking at the time and date on your home screen i decided to choose this one here <clears throat> i think this one is really cute um i like the layout but i did customize this so when you click on this, it's going to take you to another screen where you can basically switch it all around to make it your own. I chose the colors down to the T. I chose the format down to the T. So I would definitely recommend playing around on this app just to get the actual customization that you really, 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 really want. Be specific, be creative, um, and make it your own. So yeah, once I've clicked it, I added my location. It's gonna ask you to pick a location and then a time format. This is the time format that I chose. Um, and then we go ahead and save it. And this is gonna be our default now on our home screen when we um, click save. So now let's pick up where we left off when it comes to organizing and customizing each individual app. So once you've saved all the photos and you know which apps you want to use them to cover, you're going to head back into your apps and you're going to look for the app called Shortcuts. This app is already embedded in the phone, so you don't have to download it. It's this one right here. Make sure you click this one and then it's going to bring you to this page. And you want to click the plus sign on the top right hand corner and select the add action button and type in open app and then select that once you select the open app it's going to ask you to choose you click choose and now you can go ahead and click whichever app you want to work on first to customize i'm going to go ahead and pick contacts to customize it then you want to click the next three buttons on the top right hand corner just rename the app the same i would just keep it that way just to make it easier for you to know what's what so I just kept it basic and put contacts, but you can customize this as well and just put whatever to, whatever else you want. Like for example, names and numbers, you know, make it your own. And right after this, you just wanna click add to home screen and it's gonna give you the option again to rename the app. I went ahead and kept it real cute, real basic, and typed in contacts. Now you want to click the actual icon right next to it where it brings you to these three options and just select choose photo. This is going to bring you to your gallery. Then you can go to wherever you save that picture that you downloaded from Interest or Google Images. Click it and it's going to give you the option to crop it and all that good stuff. Just make sure you pick the right one. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Chanel logo. I feel like that's, you know, like a C for contact kind of thing. It's part of the theme, so I think it went perfect. Once you do that, you click add and you are done. It's going to be added to your home screen. And then from your home screen, you can now just place it wherever you want to place it. Now, one it. thing to keep in mind is after you have customized it, it is going to take you to the shortcut real quick before you actually get to open the app like right here i clicked weather it did bring me back to shortcuts real quick but then it goes to the weather app so if that's something that's gonna annoy you just keep that in mind it doesn't bother me anymore but hopefully they update it soon so the ios update came out a few months ago but i know some of you guys um already have your screens customized but this section of the video is for those of you guys who don't have your screens already customized and kind of need a head start on where to brainstorm and how to go about it so i'm going to show you guys how i went about it and yeah i hope you guys learn from this or i hope it's helpful for you when you begin to start to customize it so what i did was i started looking at each actual um 
app itself and then I would go on Pinterest and screenshot an image that I would think would help me identify the app. I didn't want something to be too out of the question. So for example, we're gonna go into my apps really quickly and I'm gonna show you guys basically how I went about it in a way where you can visually see it because it's kind of hard to explain. So if you take a look here at this Chase app, you see that the Chase app is already in a circular kind of pattern. So what I kind of did was I went on Pinterest and I identified a photo that is similar to how the app is already visually displayed. And I went ahead and did this for the rest of my apps here. Let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at the camera app, the calendar app here. So the calendar, of course, very basic, but I went ahead and found the image on Pinterest that would basically display a calendar and as well as the camera app. The camera app is just basically displaying a camera. So I went on Pinterest and I found a aesthetic that will match the one I'm looking for that shows a camera. And I'm going to show you guys a few more examples so you guys can get a better understanding as well. Let's take a look at Instagram. I changed it from the hot pink to the old beige. Um, for the mail, obviously a bunch of envelopes will, remember, will help me remember that it's mail. And then of course the name underneath, the messages, I put an old typewriter in that beige aesthetic. Even the Netflix logo, I found like a gold beige um, letter N. So yeah, that's pretty much how I went about it. Look at the phone here. We have the green icon to the antique gold metallic phone and so on and so forth. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from it. Um, if I inspired you in any way, make sure you go ahead and comment and like this video. And let me know if I should do more videos like this. I'm not really too tech savvy, but I don't know. This update was too lit to pass up. Like as a creator, it was too lit to pass up. Like I had to do it. I had to customize it. I had to be extra. Um, even though it wasn't that extra. You get what I mean? So... Yeah, guys, that's it. Um, make sure you guys check out my last videos if you haven't already. And, of course, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.